Shalom. Shalom Tana Taina Yastali and Shalom Rastafari. The art and the fact that we're looking at now in our Ethiopic reconstruction of ancient Egypt and Exodus is the woman, the daughter of Pharaoh, Pharaoh, who adopted our Hebraic brother Moses, Moshe, Musa, according to the second book of Moses in the Bible known as Exodus. This is Queen Hatshepsut. Queen Hatshepsut. So what we're stating here is that she is the one who had adopted Musa, Moses, in Egypt. Now, according to the Bible, Pharaoh's daughter adopted Moses. It was Hatshepsut who is the only logical and reasonable candidate for Pharaoh's daughter, Pharaoh's daughter, who drew Moses out of the Nile. If you recall in the scripture, Moses being drawn out of the Nile, which is in the motif of the Orset, or the Isis figure, and the nurse being called, and that nurse being actually Moses' mother, Musa's mother, who tended for him. Now, let us understand this claim that Hatshepsut is the Pharaoh's daughter who adopted Moses. Now, she was born in 1535 B.C., and she would have been about 15 years old when Moses was born in about 1520. So we have some art and fact and archaeology of a younger Hatshepsut here as well as right here as well as right here. This is the younger Hatshepsut, Pharaoh's daughter who adopted Moses according to the B-I-B-L-E. So it would do us well to study this portion of scripture. Now, Hatshepsut's father was Thutmose, or Thutmosis the first, and her mother was Queen Amose, was Queen Amose. So let's bring that up as well over here. Here we have Queen Amosis, Amosis, and we have Tutmosis, and then we have Hatshepsut. We have Hatshepsut right here, born in 1535. So now Queen Amosis, or Amosis, she had four children with Tutmos the first. But three died young, leaving Hatshepsut as the only person who could bear the title of Pharaoh's daughter, according to Exodus chapter 2, verses 7 to 10, and Acts of the Apostles chapter 7, verse 21, and Hebrews chapter 11, verse 24. Now, the B-I-B-L-E, the Bible says that Pharaoh's daughter adopted Moses out of pity. However, since she was unable to ever bear a son to her husband, Thutmosis II, Moses became her only chance for personal succession in ancient Egypt. Now, we have to understand this when we consider Hatshepsut, and we consider this reconstruction of ancient Egypt and the Exodus. This is a very, very important point to understand right here. Now, this all changed when Moses, Musa, was about 30 years old. And when Tutmosis II's second wife, named Iset, 
or variously some of the translation of a name may be pronounced different, right? But when Tutmos II, now Tutmos II, we have some we have some pictures of him as well, but unfortunately on this particular drive right here, we might not have those pictures actually available of of Tutmos II. There is one particular picture that's available. Let's let's bring this down for a moment. There's one particular picture that's available. And it's this picture right here, as you see right over here. This is where his um his mummy was actually his mummy was found and recovered. And you can see the black features the lips and the nose, but we'll show you some of the art and facts concerning him. Now, who 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 was he? This was Thutmose. This is now Thutmose the second, right? Thutmose the second was married to Hatshepsut. Now, there's a brother and sister relationship, and we need to we need to try to understand that in the context of the story, as that will also illuminate the events that the Bible has been thought to be somewhat cryptic concerning with Moses and his and his um, stepmother, right? And this all changed now when Moses was about 30. And this is when Thutmose the second, second wife named Isaac bore him a son named Thutmose the third. Now we have to remember that Thutmose the second was Hot Shepsut's stepbrother, whom she married jointly, and she raised Moses. It is said she raised Moses to adulthood. To adulthood. Now Moses, we have to understand the Egyptian Musa or Moses. He was the heir apparent. It was Moses that was actually the heir apparent until. Thutmose the third was born when Moses was about thirty years old in about fourteen ninety B C in about fourteen ninety. So let's um bring up a, a picture of uh Thutmose the third. And it's him who is believed rightfully when the Art and the facts and the monuments are considered properly. It is him who is considered to be the pharaoh or the pharaoh of the Exodus. And we'll explain more on that when we touch on Thutmose the third. But just to recap briefly, let's look at the face of Pharaoh's daughter. Pharaoh's daughter who adopted Moses being herself roughly about 15. And read over the story again in the Bible and you'll find out that it was Pharaoh's daughter who adopted Moses. But immediately, who was called for? But it was the nurse. And then we learn from the Bible, from Moses, you understand, in the Bible that that nurse actually was his very mother who had placed him in that basket and sealed him down the Nile and there upon it was brought to Hatshepsut's attention. So it was basically all in the family. So stay tuned for the next part of this Ethiopic reconstruction of ancient Egypt and the Exodus. Shalom. Abbas the Fari.